Hey folks, welcome back to Ostriff. Just been sitting here watching our citizens wandering about, watching kids going from house to house, and all the buzz of activity in here, all the, the, the stacks of smoke coming out of the chimneys, and this is such a beautiful game. It really is. This chimney's different. Yeah. No, I guess not. Some of these looked great. No, I guess it was just... I see the difference. Yeah, the shape right here versus the shape right there. Lots of little differences. Also, just kind of contemplating my life. <laughs> I've, I've got a lot of practice in for this episode because I've already recorded it once. I got about 50 minutes in and looked over and... That little bar for the microphone wasn't moving. I never turned this guy on. Oh, I hate when I do that. When I get done recording, I shut down the camera and the microphone and the little stadium lights up there that make me not look so dark. And sometimes when I go back to record, well, the next day, like this one, I spent quite a bit of time going through all of the different buildings, setting the, um, the options for on and off season. And by the time I got done with all that, I just started recording and didn't realize that I hadn't turned the microphone on because I didn't need it when I was just setting up the map. Yeah, that's the way life happens sometimes. Um, I did go through and set all of the hiring seasonal for the map. And I'm questioning a couple of them right now. Uh, some things that came up the episode you didn't see. <laughs> the fish. Did the salt ever get here? No, but it will get here soon. Um, I had assumed initially that when the river freezes for December, January, February, that we don't need anybody in here. And they, that's true. They can't go out and fish. But the fish that did arrive and are still being dried still needs a worker in the building doing that work. So it might be a good idea, instead of saying everybody leaves, to say one person stays during the off season to work on drying the rest of the hall that came in. So there's that to think about. Also, this guy here, I'm assuming that we're gonna run out of wheat at a certain point, but, and so I gave him from September to December, maybe sneak in January, but now I'm kind of thinking that he might go year round because I'm going to be buying wheat whenever I see it. So he can just keep turning it into flour and keep sending it down to the trader to sell off. That seems like a good use of that, just use this to generate an income all the time. So I did, I did sit down and, and watch the whole process once and he will spend 30 wheat making 30 flour. So it is a one for one thing. Uh, somebody's bringing 100 wheat over. Lisa is. So yeah, laborers on on this building is a good idea. So he can, when he's not taking a rest, he can just sit there and run the mill. Later when we have more people, I would set two of them. Hmm. So maybe in that case, this will work then. Well, this is sensitive. I just go outside of it and it goes away. Um, at that point, two people during this time and one person for the rest of the year. Maybe that's a thing. So the two people can handle the, the wheat that I buy plus the wheat that comes out of a field. Okay, maybe that's a thing there. But right now, I think he's going to be year-round. Because from these people, I think I want to keep buying all their wheat at 10 cents deal and selling it to them whenever I can at 15 cents so now it's just a matter of waiting for that process to, to you know to go through and start to stack up in here so I can sell it to them whenever possible but there was something that came up last time I did this because I didn't know what the formula was can I find it let's see help Contents. I don't know how else to get there. It's oh, maybe it's there. No, maybe it's there. Um, can we get into warm clothing? 
No. But I can get to the... What is it called? The tailor. Tailor's workshop. There we go. So that's how I can see how things are made without having built the building yet. Okay. So for production of warm cloth, the raw materials are broadcloth and tanned sheepskin. I had bought broadcloth from these folks to start making that, not knowing what I was going to need. It arrived, and then the building got built, and then I realized I needed tanned sheepskins, and that's not even an option here. So it would be wise in that case just to buy some warm clothing and get that coming. So let's do that as well. And so the advantage of me messing up an episode and, and having to re-record it is I can get a lot more done now because I don't have to make all the same mistakes. <laughs> So 100 warm clothing is going to come in, which is quite a bit. We only have 60 citizens. So that's a whole new change of clothes for everybody and some in reserve. So let's do that deal. That's on its way in. I don't need to buy the broadcloth now. Um, what you to get to contents. Can I get there from here? That's message log. Okay. So how do you get to the help? Is that here? Main menu? Help? No, that's not it. Go away. Um, help, there you are. Okay, so back to Taylor. And regular clothes. Only need hemp or linen textile. Wait, a year. Worn, okay, regular clothes worn throughout a year. You will only need hemp or linen textile produced by weavers okay and we have a bunch of textile on its way we did that last time right there importing textile so textile is going to come in in that case let's reverse those two we don't have leather coming in right now so there's no point in getting into shoes but we will have textile coming in so let's work on that guy you are the shoemaker they were bringing everything now they're saying okay dude Make up your mind. We'll start working on this one now. So, <laughs> all right. So there is that. So we've got the textile tailor we're working on. Textile is arriving. We'll get some regular clothes made from there. We can't make warm clothes yet. So we bought those. Okay. Another thing, comment that came in that I acted on while I was setting up for this episode is the idea that this mothballed blacksmith over here, we may as well use it just to make nails. Oh, a lot of builders. Okay. So I went ahead and hired somebody. Let's set the nail production up. He's supplying resources. He's off picking up charcoal and, and is that iron? That's iron. So he's going to get his own charcoal and iron because we wrong one here and I do have a set for laborers and carts but they're just not available right now so he will be uh, um, just working on nails whereas these guys will work on the metal parts and the horseshoes as well and it probably wouldn't hurt to have like a couple of horses where the horseshoes sit in there in stock somewhere Sure, we'll just set that in there. They'll be done with that pretty soon, and then that won't be a thing anymore. Uh, we're set for 100 metal parts over here, and then 1,000 nails. And so these guys are going to be in competition for their time for making nails. Which, you know, once the metal parts are done, we don't make build carts very often. So the, we, we repair them once in a while, pre preventative repairs. And that we're going we're gonna to need another round of that soon. But beyond that, this will stock up to, where is our metal parts? We're three because we sold them. Yeah, and we're stocking more back over here. Uh, 39 out of 50. And we had put some in here, but they're gone now, right? Yeah, we had sold some, and that was a one-time thing. Just to get something to sell. But that probably won't be a, uh, a very common thing. I think metal parts, I'd, I'd rather use them to build saddles or tack or whatever it is that will sell for a whole lot more than a metal part um i'm going slow and intentionally because there's things to talk about i want to redo the fields this worked 
this this combination here worked pretty good when we were so big so yeah, even even into here that that's enough food to keep everybody going now I'm looking at well we have a few more houses to add there and I'm looking at starting another neighborhood over here and then maybe expand next either into here and bridge across and work on limestone these guys may be the, su the support system for the iron put a couple bridges in and we'll see how that goes uh, at the very least they're going to be the support system for all the buildings that land in this area because they're having a hard time getting people to do things like where are you there I've still got nobody willing to come down and, and put firewood over here. It's it's a job that's one of the furthest jobs away. So I think it has something to do with it. Um, storage capacity, 1,000. Yeah, I increased the, uh, the UI. Uh, can I do that? Options. Right here. It starts off default at... Well, I don't know. I may have moved it to 120 myself earlier. Maybe it starts off at 100. I'm running it at 130 now. And that makes things bigger enough to where I can see numbers now. A lot lot better than before. So 1,027 nails. So that does help a little bit. The, moving it to 150 made the menus just a little too big to pop over. Now this more like there. And it just seemed to fill up too much of the screen. So 130 works just fine for me now. So that should be less comical. Um, I was saying that these five fields have worked well for what we're going to, what we have been doing. It's time to make these a little bigger. Doing that is not easy because we're we're building in the forest. So there's a lot of trees to take down to make fields out of this. And any other area where the fields would work really well are too far away at the moment from housing. We're already having trouble getting these jobs filled. So, did manage to get you guys, or two in there, and they've kind of stayed. I've only seen one fisherman, and now we've got none. Yeah. So, we need housing further down, which means we need more food. So what I want to do as kind of the next stage of what we're going to do with the farms is to delete these guys. The harvest is over and build fields that are, hmm, I built them too big last time, didn't I? I built from here to here. That's actually three fields wide instead of doubling it. Didn't realize that. So I was tripling it. So tripling it would actually be like a, a good next stage for it. It really would. Let's do that. Let's, let's continue what I had done. So let's get rid of you guys. These fields are gone. I'm going to keep running nice and slow because I want them to take the trees out of these fields so I can have them for next year. And so I need to move things around. Another thing that happened... Uh, comment from the uh, the comment section from last episode was the information that I asked for regarding this guy, the salt works. Um, the horses are not optional. You either need two horses or two oxen to grind and make the salt. So we were too far away from having that available, so I shifted it back to the end over there. Unfortunately, we've had almost all the materials brought in, but this is money in the bank, you can think of it that way. If we really get hurting for any of these, I could delete this. And now these piles are available to haul to new building sites. So it's not a loss, it's just a delay. So that is going to sit there. You are the bottom of the fence. Thereabouts. Now was that... Boy, can I hit Control Z? I think that was connected to the, to the top one. No, they would have been walking in right here. So that was connected to the bottom one. Okay. Anyway, you can go away. Where are you? There you are. And you can go away because we're not going to use these guys anymore. Boy, you're hard to click on. There we go. You're all gone. So let's set 
some more fields. I was going to say four, but that, it's actually going to be five fields. A, a temporary one that I'm going to put over here because it's going to take forever to cut these trees down. It's going to take longer than we have. But let's go ahead and do this add field. And I was using that fence to force them to walk over a little bit and leave me some grass because I think the grass would look good on the side of the field. This time I can intentionally move it in. We'll do something like that. Let's go down 15. I still have to fit between here and here with three with two sets of fields. So let's just do the, the minimum 15 and take you out. So really two fields would have been 30. I decided to go to 45 and I think that still works. So let's do straight down and that's looking like something like that. 15 by 45 by 15 by 43, 44. Let's leave it at 44. We're at a little bit of an angle here somewhere, but that's fine. Door is over there on the far left and R and T rotates you through that. I usually just try to start with the side that I know I want the door on, but that does make it difficult to, to aim for things when you do that. So if you can manipulate it later, it's even better. But you're gonna move there, your 15s. We haven't crossed through that guy yet. That's what I'm trying to, to max out here. And it's just a tiny little window of opportunity there before we do. So you're gonna be there, I'm gonna move you to 44, I'm gonna call you done. And there are three trees to take down. Let's move you over and get that started. And so we can get this field. You add field, I'm gonna put another one in here. And you are going to start, don't need much of a pathway here because we're gonna open up to the ends on this one. Make it that much easier to, uh, to walk around, walk into the fields. Now, is that truly? It's wanting to start out front a little bit. Is the flag not in the right place? Or is this not triggering properly? Let's assume that it is. I'll start you about there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to be offset or not. Hmm. Anyway, we'll come down. It does look wrong. Okay, so let's go back and go ahead and do it where, where that, that little uh, flag is. So right about there. Down 15. That looks like it gives us plenty of room. Okay. And straight is somewhere in there. Right there. 45 over. Vertical. Or bird's eye view. 45. Actually, so that, that path over there is off. So we'll, do, we'll go ahead and follow the path. We're at 47 now. Which means we'll be heading down to 46. That looks fairly parallel. So we're about 46 here. Uh, 45 there. And something like that. R. Yep, that's in the right place. And click. Okay, another field. That one's got two trees to take down. We'll move you into there. Get you two done before winter hits. Now, I want to do two more fields out over here. And I want to walk way between them so that there's less distance that they've got to travel to get into these things and it's probably going to be down here between to get in but they can leave or come from different places to go to work and yeah, make it let's walk walking distance um but what i had decided last time was that it's going to take so long to take these trees down and i don't want to go another year without a third field so let's put a temporary field into a space that I really don't have any plans for right now I'll put another 15 by 45 in here and this will give us a chance to test to see if we can even handle it labor wise now we'll be able to handle it better as we as we get more houses up 15 46 so there's 45 15 45 15 pop you in there you're ready to plant already and I guess I can kick the speed up. There's nothing else. That that trader's gone. You're here. We're kind of missing other things, though. That's why I don't like to run it fast, because I want to see everything else, too. You are full of 
textile and waiting for somebody to come to work. Uh, supplying resources. You're off picking up more, more flour. That's why I want the laborers to do that work. And laborers could, if there were any. So, yeah, we are a little short. There you are. So, are you going to jump in, or are you going to take a break? Take a rest. Holy. Okay, here's our other guy. Right there. He's coming to work. These guys will only wait for so long. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any sense of a timer. Now, wagon. Show path and follow. And textile. And we should see this starting to, uh, to unload as he walks over to it. And they store it over there. Okay. 150 at a time. Dropping it into the random generic pile of crates. There we go. No point in sorting anything, guys. Alright, so you are taken care of. Anything else happening? Did we ever get another fisherman in here? We did not. We got a laborer, though, who's bringing salt down. Okay, well, I'll take it. Dried fish, I've got set for 50. We don't have any, so someone's already come down and grabbed the 30 and brought them up to somewhere. Um, fish. 37. 30 are reserved by somebody. Don't know what that means. Fish is not in here. There's only one place that is storing it. Yeah, right there. We did or did not put fish in here? We did not. So where are those 30 going? Are you bringing it back to get it salted? I'll bet you you're bringing it back to get it salted. Supplying resources. So you guys are bringing all the salt down. I'll bet you they're going to bring the fish hole back. So that we can salt 50 of them. That might be the case. It just doesn't really indicate what's going on yet. Okay. Anything else going on? So I uh, took care of this one. And did manage to get 200 iron and 1,000 charcoal aimed for it. And you are probably still working on that. Yeah, so it'll be a while before you actually start making any nails. Um, you're taking care of, you're making lots of flour. And the tailor shop is done. Okay, let's work over here. Let's grab a worker. You're going to bring... Let's see, seasonal. I want only women. And you're going to run all the time. Though you would be someone... That was another idea that came in. And I've got a few of the places set for that. It came in and into the comments last time. To set certain jobs to not work in March. So that they can be available as laborers to help with the seasonal work for sewing and harvesting March and August though I think I'm going to just concentrate on the sowing get the fields planted as fast as I can so that they each have the most growing time available we've never had a problem with getting the harvest in yet in fact it happens so fast I usually miss it so I'm not gonna take everybody off for harvest but for planting even the builders I decided to kick out of work in March so they grab some of those those seasonal jobs that show up right here to start planting everything so with that as a very long way of saying you know I think we will use seasonal hiring and we will say nobody in March <laughs> so March is when they start planting so you're going to eventually hire and we've got laborers available to help bring over the textile one which is here so that she can just be making clothing I think so this one may eventually be seasonal but the weaver is most likely going to be well we'll see we'll see depends on how long we stay in hemp and and uh, flax to, uh, to make that work. Okay, so eventually someone's going to hire over there. We're going to haul all of this stuff up there. And we're going to start making uh, regular clothing. And the warm clothing is going to be showing up soon. I don't know if you're already here in the forest or not. Um, world map? Doesn't show anybody traveling. But me, well, it's still here though. If I click on you, nothing happens. 
So apparently it's not going to show the progress because our messenger is no longer here. Hmm, okay. Unless there is somebody in the forest right now and... Ah, you got to be down a lot lower to hear the clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. Okay, anybody else in the forest here? Yep, I'm hearing someone. You're in there somewhere. <laughs> ah, getting louder. There we are. Yeah. Um, out, of, out of curiosity, last night I pulled up that game called Forest Village. Um, Life is Feudal Forest Village or something like that. And just to see, because I played that a long time ago. I didn't play it on the channel. I was just playing it for fun. And I enjoyed it. But I pulled back into it last night, and it's a very awkward game to play now that I've been playing this and, and other games like this. A lot of menus that you've got to click through the menus to figure things out, and so much of the map you can't find where you're going. At least in that game, though, you can drop all the way down to first person and walk through the forest. So you can get down you know, at the level of under the branches and look. But still, it's really hard to look through the forest and figure out what you're doing and, and where you just place that, that that gatherer's hut in there. And then you, you, know, you spend the next five minutes trying to find it again. But I was just goofing around with that game. It's, it's, it's kind of fun. Um, so I want to set two more fields in here. I'm just debating whether I can kick the speed up. I think I can. I think there's not much more happening between now and snow so let's set a couple more fields in here add field um you are corner is here so let's head across actually let's go down to here i need more of a pathway in between these fields so you're there and you're there because i want the pathways to be in the center so let's go up a bit and then drop you through here. So you're going to be 15. That looks pretty vertical. Out 45. Shoemaker shop is done. Um, I'll ignore that because we don't have any leather yet. Uh, 45. My 15. I'll zoom up a little bit further. Does that look pretty straight? Where are you? 45. Up a little... Yeah, I'll never get that right until I'm all done and then realize, well, that doesn't look good at all. But there's 15, 45, that's right. Th oh, and before I click it, rotate around. I'm going to put the entrances in there on this one. And actually make you a little bit bigger. About like that. Okay, one more. Uh, add field. And yeah, finding the starting points always difficult. So there's the pathway. You're there. You're going to be a little wider right there. And if you don't already know why, I'll show you here in a moment. So he, this width right here would force this teal box into the yellow of the next field. And it would say I wouldn't be able to build it. So this way I can. Um, 45 over or thereabouts. And looks like up a little bit. Somewhere around there. That's close. This one is sloping downhill a bit, but that's good enough. So we're 16, 15, about there. And yeah, I got that one crooked. <laughs> well, you'll be somewhere around there. So you're, what is that, 45 wide, 15, right there. And I got the entrance correct I do so right there I noticed another tree popped up when I spun the entrance around so apparently I would have had to have taken out a tree here that would have been in the way of entering it from there okay so there's those fields and I want to get what are you 16 and you are 13 let's get you moved over and I guess after those so that they get these two these three projects the trees chopped out as well. Something just got down a field. Okay, even though the field's going. Good. Now, I don't have to get these set until next March, so let's move around a bit and take a look, see what's going on. So, we've got you done. We don't have any leather yet. Will they start bringing the leather over? Um, no, man. 
Uh, we, we can do seasonal hiring and get rid of March like the other one. And I do want laborers. So we'll set you guys, but yeah, when leather shows up, then we'll hire somebody for that. Okay. Uh, no new traders yet. I know that this town here has leather. Just didn't know that I needed it back when the last time they were here. Okay, so we're running at two speed. We are officially working on the weavers right now because these all have trees in the way. Though we may well be bringing supplies over. Yep, you are fully collected. You are not. So probably the next project is to bring these supplies over. This guy as well. We'll see. Don't know if, if they'll do that or they'll get to work on this one. No, no supplies have been brought here either. So I'm not sure if they work on the supplies next. And that seems like the most logical thing for them to do. Start supplying it in case that tree just, the last tree just went down, they can immediately start building. So that would be my guess. Although there's no builder pictures in there. So you guys are officially, there it is. So, I don't know what to make of that. We have two trees, so we can't build it. And all the supplies are here. So I guess we're just kind of waiting. Maybe they're all taking breaks. Rest, 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 rest. Yeah, they're all taking breaks. You're buying food. Okay, that's what's going on. It is November. October, that's right, slow down. That's something that I did miss. October, I was told in the comments, is the month when all of these guys harvest and sell their, their foods. Which could be why so many had taken a rest at the same time. They were all busy. That's, that sounds reasonable. Which means this is the time for these guys to... Nothing new. To bring everything into the storehouses. Which means let's tell Olesa to also stock these guys. Perfect. That's salt. Okay, so she's going to bring those in. So she is immediately walking out there to get some of that. Um, so we have this market going and, and hired. This one going. This one going. This one going. And all of them are hired. So you are the next possible one. I would want these outer ones. And then we'll do this as the final backup. Um, click. Oh, clothes. And warm clothes all just came in. Interesting. As this this has happened right, right under my nose. Another Olesia versus Olesa. Olesia? Yeah, these names are, are foreign words to me. No, you yeah, Olesia. Olesia. Okay. And a shortened version version of it, let's yeah, works there, and a laborer probably helped or is helping, but she's already working on clothing and it's there, perfect. So your installs there, and let's toss you installs here. So clothing is going to be available. You are a thing, right? There you are, clothes, at both ends. Potatoes. Now yeah, we'll see whether I'm going to put any more stalls here. I think I'm going to just concentrate over there. And then when we start building houses over here, we'll get another market going over here. These houses will supply the labor to pull that one off. Because there's a lot of people working in a market. I've got five people hired already. You did not hire. Hire. Okay. So all the settings from the previous ones have been transferred through, right? Okay. So, we've got as many supplies and you know as we possibly can to sell to our people or near the end of the year. How are we doing? Now, we did buy a lot of stuff. We imported a lot of stuff. So, we have put out 1800. We've only brought in 15. But that's because we've bought a whole lot more right there than we have sold. That's local sales exports right there. We have sold quite a bit. So we have purchased 171 from our citizens and we have sold 350 of it. So we are, we're doing pretty good. We're about doubling our money here. 
Now, that's because we're also selling things that we're making in our, our buildings, whether it's clothing or potatoes or what have you. So it's working. We are coming out ahead. We just right now have a lot of things we need to buy right here, clothing and whatnot, in order to get us kind of set up and going before we can start making our own raw resources. Um, so we got that. We got to see that happen. And we are still thinking seriously about this for some reason. Uh, you're all still taking rests? Why are we all still taking rests? I didn't mess that up, did I? No, you're working all the whole time. I mean, they have jobs to do. They should all be dump, jumping into this one while these trees are waiting to be taken down. I've seen them do that before. If that's not a thing, then we should see everything transfer over. Okay. I know I've seen them do that before. Skip the ones and move on to one that was available. Did I just jump start it and it would have happened eventually? I don't know. Interesting. Well, these trees are going to be taken down. Those are going to be taken down. Then we can get into these two. I guess we'll do these two and then we'll do these three. I guess that's the, the pathway or the, the order. Okay. Now, whenever I click, I hit something. <laughs> Before, I was trying to click things in here and I couldn't find them no matter what I did. Um, I was trying to figure out what goes on here i know this leaves i don't like that on what's going to be our our main road coming in that's just an eyesore so that goes off into the forest over here somewhere behind the brickworks though we may well set another one oh, maybe down in this area something to grab a couple of different places maybe even a third one somewhere else We'll see. And the builders need easy access to it, and that has been easy access. Kind of central to everything. So if I'm going to stick it off to a side, then it would be wise to stick it off to several sides. So that wherever they're building something, there's one nearby. Yeah. But, so that goes away. I don't know what goes in its place. Some kind of a support building. Maybe that's cows. And yeah, maybe that's cattle. That probably is cattle. Got the, the well right there. Got the hay not too far away. So probably a cow shed and a hay barracks in here. But I got to thinking, you know, these guys have, have got it pretty good. We've not had a single death. Nobody has starved. Nobody has froze. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't had a reason to put in a cemetery is what I'm saying. Maybe this is where the cemetery is. Maybe it is. A little shrine. Is it whatever they're called? What is the small one? The chapel. Versus the church. The church we're going to need to get a much bigger population later. Right now, the, the chapel is just to give them some, some spiritual... Does it mention that? If I click on you... No, there's no sense of needing spiritual. It's not here like the clothing is. Hmm... But still, it seems like the right thing to do. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll put uh, the chapel in somewhere in this area. In fact, let's do that right. Flip the, the F around. Um, that's actually pretty square to the back end. Now, we're going to road around this area like so and into here. So there's going to be a main road coming in here soon, which means probably widening this up or kicking this over so this road and this road and this road all lie into each other and with trees and grass and benches kind of forcing the, it over a little that all to say this pathway is probably going to go off like this so I want to kick this in a little bit so that it eventually lands at the pathway so you're probably closer to here let's do that you're there, and you're quick, right? 40 nails and 2,000 wood, and it's all right here. Blacksmith and lumber. Let's take you up to the front and see that happen. We'll do that. You guys will do it real quick. In fact, 
Oh, did I just do that? <laughs> they were all hauling wood over to this one, and I just said, no, no, no. Everybody go away. We're working on the chapel now. Sorry. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. <laughs> yeah. Now, if I hit it pause when I did that, I might have been able to fix that. But, now, nope, Too late. Okay. A whole bunch of workers were just bringing everything over, and now we're going to have to reset. Ah, <sighs> they'll probably all take a rest now, too. Yeah. But, we could set you, and then, I'll wait till it builds, and then we'll figure out where we want to lay out a few of burial plots. Just so they're available for somebody, I suspect, who's going to die in their old age. I think that's what's probably going to happen. Now, thankfully, I didn't block that. It's, that's not too narrow, so they are still able to use this. Now, why are you guys all going this way? Curious, where are you actually going? You are going... You're all going back to drop off lumber all the way down here. Really? For a building site that's all the way over here. What am I missing? How does the math work? We still have 10 thousand lumber here interesting okay well yeah they do sometimes make dumb decisions and you just have to just have to accept it okay so kick the speed back up again let's think about what goes in here let's make sure we've got wheat coming in at least one field every year Wheat's the thing that can constantly be turned into flour to be constantly sold to the highest bidder. So we have 60 waiting down here. And it will eventually go bad, but we'll, we'll sell it in small chunks as it comes in. Okay, and eventually we may have to have two of these windmills going. That's possible. Before we do that, though, of course, we will hire both people and just keep it going 24-7. Um, okay, so wheat is definitely going to be a thing. Um, potatoes, I want a thing, because that is a food we can sell. And then... Probably sunflower, a thing, we can keep uh, oil being produced. Um, we're going to need a fallow field. Between the four, we'll always have one. When we're only doing cycles of three, so that uh, some years there'll be two, and that'll be tough to to handle when half of our fields are out of commission. So at that point, you probably do want five, so you always have at least three fields going. Um, you guys have leather. Okay, let's get 500 leather coming in, which is a little pricey. That's 125. That's going to hurt. That's really going to hurt. That'll probably be your last big purchase for quite a while. Though I need to really think about salt. Though we don't have a lot of use for salt. Our citizens will buy salt, but they'll pay us back for it. Probably more than we are buying it for. I think it's it's an... Yeah. We'll, we'll have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, 500 leather for the shoes and saddlery. Hmm. Let's do 750. I don't think I dare go to 1,000. That takes us down a little less than 400. And then from there, we don't need to buy a lot more. We'll, we'll check that out, but let's go ahead and get this coming. And set to you. How much iron do we have in the town right now? In storage, 270. Over here, 470. Over here, we'll say 170, just to follow the... Not enough charcoal. So we're waiting for charcoal to ignite and burn. So yeah, we're still hurting on charcoal. Did we put it in here? We tied up 5,000 charcoal. Let's make that 4,000 just to keep things functioning. So we should see almost immediately laborers grabbing charcoal out of here to start hauling it back up into there. Eventually, when we have enough laborers to keep all three charcoal piles going, the 5,000 in here ready for a sale, ah, which is going to happen right now, let's sell you... Let's sell you 4,000. There's 200 coming in right there. Boom. Okay, 4,000 leaving. 4,000 in stock. 1,000 is going to be available 
to send back out into here. Though you are what? Taking a rest? You are. Otherwise, you would have been going to get it yourself. We are set to allow laborers to do it too. Okay. So, yeah, while I'm thinking about it, we're into November. We never did get any more fish. Okay. So, fishing may not. Industry down here may be a problem for a while until we get more housing in. And that's fine. We got we got so many other food sources. Really, it's just to, so you guys can see the industry working. But it may be a couple of episodes before that really happens, especially if I keep going down to slow speed. But we only have so many days—13 more days—and he's gone to deal with this merchant. That's why I slow it down when we're doing this. Okay, so we have enough iron to go for a while. 200 is going in, almost 200 is going back out. So we're still going to end up in the 500s. Don't have anything else to sell you. We have clothing now, but I'm, we're going to be selling it to our own citizens for a long time. So that's not a thing. We do have flour. We have 60 of it sitting in here. And no sense of any more coming. So I can only guarantee 60 at this time. So let's sell. How do I get to the... Okay, the world map will give me the current merchant. Okay, so I don't have to keep going over here to the horse. All right, so let's sell you the 60 flour. Do you take flour? I'm not seeing flour. You don't want flour, so flour is not a thing with you. Okay, um, wheat, shoes, buckwheat, charcoal, sunflower, clothes, honey, apples. Honey, we do have some in stock now, but we don't have any down here. We'll wait. Seems like almost all of them want honey. So we don't need any more salt. We've got the 400 down there now. We've got almost 500 sitting in there. We have plenty of salt. So we don't need to buy that right now. Okay. Uh, world map. Don't need... We have the leather coming. Pigs, cows, we don't, we're not ready for yet. Dried fish... You know, let's just get a little bit of that in just to get that into our markets. Let's do 150 deal. We're not going to get any this year anyway. So let's get some dried fish in. So that gives us almost two, a little over 200 in sales and 200 coming in. So I think with that, we're done, right? Yeah. Do you buy potatoes? You don't. Okay. So I think we're done. Charcoal, flour and textile is slowly being moved back up top. Okay, so that's the thing. Anything else to do on while the game is running at slow speed? And where am I at right now? Almost 50 minutes. Okay, so kick the speed back up. Flurry of activity. Everyone's bustling, bustling about doing this and that. You guys are back to working on here again. <laughs> Thank goodness. Then they'll go over here naturally. Yeah. Um, but we'll get somebody in here to start working on the hemp that we have stored, turning it into linen, into textile. I think it's the flax that turns into linen. And then we'll be able to continue supplementing. So you have run out of this. You are now supplying resources. So you're going to head off and go get some more of that, uh, that textile because you couldn't trust a worker to go do it for you, or a laborer. Where are you going? You're grabbing a cart. Okay. And we do need to think about a cart parking out in here. Weaver's done. Slow back down. So, Weaver, I want to hire a woman and enable seasonal so that we're not running in March. Come back. I'm not done with you. And this one. 500 hemp, 500 flax. Okay. And you were 500 textile, 500 broadcloth, 500 sheepskin. Okay. Now, later we could hire a lot more workers and just max this out with lots of fields, supplying lots of, of fabric, you know, resources to keep fabric coming into here and, and get the warm clothes. And, the, you know, this could be quite an industry later. We're not 
anywhere close to that yet, but there's a lot more potential than we're going to see for a while. So we have a worker, another, I was going to say another Lacia? Lacia? No, but this one didn't hire yet. We're probably running quite short. That's why we're we're kind of low on our our workers at the time, but that will all iron out in time. But I do want to set a cart parking in here somewhere. Get more carts available for folks. She could have grabbed a cart and just went straight down and got her her textile and came back instead of going all the way over there to find the nearest cart to go all the way down there to come all the way up here to go back all the way over there to drop it off to come back all the way over here to then go home and take a rest that's what's about to happen so having carts over here would be wise where does that happen is that what kicks the pathway over that could be we've got a chicken coop over here We've got a road that's going to be coming up over here and into here somewhere. Into this house. And then I think I want an archway over here somewhere. And the cart parking here would make that happen. Okay. Little by little it all starts to come into place. So you're over here somewhere. That seems like a, a logical thing to do right here next to storage. So you're in there, I could touch you, I could leave a little space. We could put a row of trees back in there if I kick this out even further. Yeah, snow's starting to fall. We could do that. And that leaves a reasonable pathway in here with an arch right over here, right here, with a road that then swells and comes in over here and works its way into make this circle right here and then comes out into here okay I can see all that happening let's get you pushed up a little bit too so that's just a convenience thing it's not stopping the the workers who hired on more the slots became available um, your slots went away there's nothing to do this winter anyway, so I'll just do that. Your slots became available. Okay, so it's functioning. It is. Um, how to get more workers temporarily. I could fire some of these guys. And probably will. It's just that they do have work to do. But yeah, whoever's taking a break right now, let's give you two, at least two of you, into a place like this. One of you jumped in already. Hopefully another one will jump into there. Don't necessarily need them to jump into here, though. Unless they're going to come all the way over here and help. They might just keep taking trees down over here. So in that case, for this particular winter, let's, let's shut that down. Let's put the extra labor up into this one. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So that's that. I am... Where am I? i still got a little bit of time before I hit that hour. Um, let's finish this project here. So you're going to be wheat. <clears throat> you're going to be potatoes. And I want this guy in here to be sunflower. And then in between, hmm, in between I want textile crops, but I also want a textile crop this coming year too. So I guess that needs to be one of you two. Let's, I guess, do that here. Let's do flax. We'll see hemp, then we'll see flax sooner that way. Chapel's completed. Chapel doesn't have any employees. So it's just a place to privately come inside and sit down and pray, if you wish. So if that's the case... Now, I think the burial plots are auto-build. You don't have to wait for workers to bury Grandpa. So... Through, like so, three rows, or do we start nearby and build backward? I kind of think we do. So, shift... There and there? Do I get do I cram it in tight? Let's leave a space around the building. 
Let's start here, and that feels like it's off a little bit. Well, off from that. Yeah, the whole fence is off a little bit. So we'll make it match the fence over here, then gradually change that angle a bit. Um, control R, something like that. So let's put you there. Shift. Oh, I have to get the teal inside. Okay, pathway on all sides. So you're going to be there and... I think that's good. I'm not going to use these for a while, but we can get them placed. So you're going to be in there and another one like that. Hopefully that is more than we're going to need for the next dozen episodes. Okay, so you're all ready to go should that need happen. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure they get pretty sad if we uh, don't have a place to, uh, to bury their loved one. Okay, so the thought then was to shift you over to flax. I could then make you potato, right? Flax is mostly blue. Potato is the others. You can be potato next and then fallow. Turn you on. You can be the other one. Um, wheat. Hemp. Fallow. Okay. Then you will be... What have we got left? Half of a tree left. Are we running faster? Let's make it run faster. Maybe they'll come get this guy real soon. Did you hire? You did. And do we have population? Unemployment? None for guys. So that is all the guys. All right. But we should see a pair of guys soon. They're hauling... Did they haul this one? One tr oh, we have that guy left. Okay, so we're going to be a while. So we may be setting that next time. You activate. Yeah, you're dropping it. You've left half of it behind. Um, so this happened. Right? Roadmap? We're still on our way. It's happening. Okay. Come on, click away. They just arrived and we've got a worker. So slow it down. Let's. I want to get in here and watch the animations more. So you are hauling to your pile over there. I want to get in there and watch the, the foresters cutting up lumber and things like that. We don't appreciate these little things in the game enough. <clears throat> the sounds. The sounds of the wagon rolling in. You know, if you go into the forest... No, not in the wintertime. It's quiet in the wintertime. In the spring, you have birds all over the place. So you brought in the... You're buying. You're picking up. Okay, that must be the supplies. And you know, what we're selling and what we're buying? No, it's all just piled together. Yeah, charcoal. <laughs> it's all just crammed together. Is there a pile of... What? You bought 1,000 charcoal. We sold you 4,000. How does that work? World map. Charcoal. Charcoal. 1,000 at a time is rolling this direction. Oh, they can only haul 1,000 at a time. Now, oh, they're gone. There wasn't stone in there, was there? I'm pretty sure I would have seen that. Pretty sure. Okay, so a thousand at a time is all that you guys can do. Okay. So there'll be multiple wagons coming to buy that charcoal. Okay. Uh, four thousand here, four thousand. So nobody has come to get it. Uh, field is done. So you are... Well, somebody's delivering some. There's six hundred on the way. Did you get finished? You got finished. Okay. That's closer. Not really. Maybe the game is set to take from an existing pile before raiding the trading post as a higher priority. Huh, don't know. You are going to be sunflower. You're going to be potatoes next time. And you're going to be... Do potatoes and sunflower mix? No. Sunflower is 100%. So sunflower doesn't really mix with anything. Well, it mixes with buckwheat. 
Hmm. I guess we'll do without sunflower for a while. I do want the potatoes. So we've got a textile crop. We've got a wheat to keep you going. We've got a f sub food to sell in the stalls. And then you fit well with what? Potato. I guess more of these guys. You also fit with buckwheat. You fit with wheat too. 30, 60, 50, 50. You do. All right, we'll do a wheat. Actually, you should be the fallow one, but we'll reorganize. We'll reorder all that later when the cows finally arrive. Yeah, we won't sync everything up just yet. Let's just bring in crops. Okay, so with you, we'll throw a fallow in there and we will activate. So there's three activated. I'm guessing by the time we get out to March, this guy will have cleared. But I might be wrong. There's a lot of clearing to do ahead of time. But at the very least, we will get three of them in. One of these is pretty much the equivalent of all that we brought in last year. So there's three times coming in next year. Assuming we can get it all planted. And I think we will be able to. So with that, is that an episode... I think it is. We got the cart done. Whoa. Cart parking is done. Let's grab two. Get that ordered. And we are working on oil workshop next. Saddlery. We are building the saddlery next. Okay. So we'll see that next time. The leather we just got. Leather. Waiting. And the metal parts will turn into tack and saddles and what have you. I've never run the saddlery before. So we'll see just how that works. And I need to also think about storage. I've got to get all the supplies these guys need up into here. I need to get the the leathers up here. And the, that's what we need to get this guy going. So you are in there. So yeah, I need to kick you up in the, in the queue too. So I've got a, only got five slots. There's lots of stuff to bring up here. Get the textiles up here. Get the... Yeah, I don't really need to store the clothing yet. We're using it as fast as we're making it. So it's really just the supplies up here that these need. The hemp needs to get up here. The... Uh, eventually the... The flax. I guess that's enough for the moment. Yeah, probably so. Okay. So with that, let's call this one done. We've got quite a bit of progress going in the middle of winter right now. So next episode, we will see the planting, see the uh, the sowing season, and see how well that works. So with that, I'm going to call this one done. It's my noble rambler. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.